Well, here's something I thought I'd never post in my life, but uh, Dead Island 2 news has surfaced, which is very interesting. Now, Dead Island 2 has been in the longest development I think I've ever seen in my life. Like, this game got announced when I was in high school, and eight years later, it's still not out. <laughs> like, it's been a while since we've heard anything about it. In the past, people have asked the studio behind it, you know, is the game still coming, is it cancelled? And they've always answered with that Olden 2 is still coming, it's still in active development. Um, it shifted between studios a lot. I think it sh changed studios like three times throughout its development. Um, but it's apparently still coming and today, well, not today, but today I'm posting about the news that came up a couple of days ago in regards to the game. So this comes from reports from reliable sources, and I feel like that's everything now. Like, I feel like everything comes from reliable sources, there's never anything official anymore. But yeah, apparently the game is in a pretty good state right now, it's in a pretty far along state, it's coming along quite nicely. Um, and apparently, all things going well, it is going to release this year. Which is crazy, I didn't think this game would actually come out, I honestly did think they would just cancel it eventually. Um, but apparently, it might be coming out at the end of the year, and there may be a trailer. It, it said soon, but I would imagine probably in the spring or summertime, with the release of the end of the year, if that's the case. Now, I am a pretty big fan of the original Dead Island game, and, you know, Dying Light, Dying Light 2. Obviously, they're kind of the same game. Um, and they're all really good. I wasn't a fan of Riptide as much as the original Dead Island, but the first game really does stand on its own. Like, it was a lot of fun. I played it through multiple times with friends, playing all the different characters, doing all kinds of stupid things, because the game was pretty buggy, but it was like, fun bugs for the most part, like things would just happen, it would be so weird. But it was part of the game at that point, like it was part of the fun. I remember when the second game got announced, and I remember the story quite well, like it came out with a, a trailer, and oh my, I was super excited, I was like, oh yes, finally, a new Dead Island game. Um, and it's completely different from the original, because it's in, it's in America, and it's a bit more robust, the map's bigger, there's a lot more going on, I was like, okay, this is going to be good, right? And then nothing came of it, and then they released another trailer showing gameplay, and there was like an 8 minute gameplay presentation, um, online, which you can still find somewhere, and it looked really good, and it was just, I was very excited for it. Now here's the interesting thing though, they never actually, they gave a release date on the trailer, and I don't ever recall them saying it wasn't coming out on that day. Like, I just don't recall them being, it, the game being delayed. So I went down to my like local game shop on the day it was supposed to come out and went to go get it and it wasn't there. <laughs> it wasn't there. The people behind the counter were like, was that supposed to come out today? And they checked and obviously they had the release date on file and it just wasn't out. Um, and obviously a few days later they'd obviously said, you know, the game's not ready. Blah, 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 you know, usual bit of that stuff, and it was weird, like, it was a whole weird situation. But yeah, if it's coming out this year, I am kind of, I think nowadays, you know, now I'm a little bit older, obviously, and it's been so long uh, since it came out, uh, well, since it got announced, I should say, and it, it, it is a concern, I think, like, games that have been in development this long, and juggled between studios, are probably subject to change. Like, I'm not saying this game is going to be completely different to what we saw when it came out. But it, it does beg the question, you know, are things going to be different? Because I can tell you now, the tone of the second game is definitely a lot more light-hearted than the first game. Definitely seems like it's a bit more comedic than the first game. The first game, the story was kind of weird. Like, it was a bit over the top. But the game took itself seriously. But this one really doesn't seem like that's the case at all. Which is honestly better, I would say, especially after the seriousness of the first game. But yeah, I am a bit concerned with, you know, how the game is going to be when it comes out. Like, if it comes out, I should say, like, again, these are reports and not necessarily facts, so just keep that in mind. But I, I will probably give it a go if it does come out eventually. Um, I think the success of Dying Light 2 does still show that people are interested in these open world zombie games like this. So I'd imagine that Dead Island 2, when it does release, or if it does release, will be a big hit anyway. But let me know what you think, let me know if you've been there just as long as I have waiting for the game to come out. Let me know your thoughts on what you saw originally, do you think it's still going to be the same, do you think it'll be different? I'm always open to anyone's opinions. But yeah, thank you all for coming by, and hopefully we'll hear something about the game soon. I'll catch you all tomorrow for a brand new video.